Boom, what's up everybody? My name is Kim Scogwell and today we're going to be taking a look at one of the requests I got and that is how you can easily make local exposure corrections. There's a couple of different methods you can use which I'm going to go over. Um, one I prefer over the other but both works good in most scenarios while one of them works fantastically on every scenario. There's not really a whole lot to it. If you like this tutorial, please hit that uh, subscribe button, ding that notification bell, and leave your comments down below. Uh, that's it. I'll see you inside. Let's get to it. So we're inside the old familiar Affinity photo, and if you look at this photo, you have a good bright sky. We have a pretty good bright background. But my face looks pretty uh, dark and sad here, so it doesn't really fit in. And if you wanted to just brighten the exposure, increase exposure here, local exposure increase, there's a couple of very easy tricks you can do. One is better than the other in my opinion, but I'll show you both. So what you could have done, what you think, is you just go in here, you get a curves, and then you just take it off, but then you see you blow out the sky, and the background so we're not going to do that first thing you want to do this is the the trick that's not always going to work and it's not the best but it gets the job done so you hit b on your brush tool tool you make a new layer and put it at the blend mode as overlay you make sure you're painting with white and then you go just paint over the face or whatever area it is you want it to increase the exposure on. And if you zoom in here, you can see it did a pretty decent job. Just a bit uh, gets blurry on the side here and got some artifacts and stuff. It's not, but overall it does, it's not horribly bad. So I'm just gonna call this brush. I'm gonna, now I'm gonna zoom out again. I'm gonna just put down this layer here and now the the best way to do this is by far go in you get grab yourself a curves and you adjust until you think the face is nicely lit you close this box you're gonna just hit command or control I invert that mask you can see it turned black and we hid everything we did with the curves layer. So we're gonna make sure we have it masked or marked I mean. We hit B on the brush on the keyboard for the brush tool. Make sure we're still painting with white. And now we're just gonna go over the face here again. We could go into the beard as well. Or hit X if we wanted to get shadows back. To the original and then just paint with that and if you now zoom in here you can see it is it's a lot better it's very nice it's not too bad it doesn't put in too much artifacts here so if I turn on the brush tool you can see they kind of kind of look like they're matching pretty good but not perfectly so the bad thing with the brush tool is you can't really do anything with it except for change the opacity or the blend modes. So that's why I recommend using the curves because you're using the information that's in the image already. And now you could just double click on it. You could increase it, decrease it, and it will only affect the area where you painted white. So if that looks pretty good, they look about the same. Uh, you could also manipulate each individual uh, color, green, red, and blue. Do whatever you wanted there, if you needed to make it fit. Or, this is the best part, you can go down here, blend ranges, hit that wheel, go on underlaying layer, you can drag it away, the, the increase in exposure you did from the shadows, or the highlights here. And you can keep some of the shadows. And if you now put it away, you can zoom out here and you can see it looks pretty decent. 
and you could always go back in here turn this off it be on your brush tool now and then just go around like so I'm gonna take out just a little bit from the beard here just make like so let me go over the mustache again here there we go and if we now zoom in here we can just toggle off uh, this one turn on this one and take a look around the edges here of my face you can see it's this one is a lot cleaner than the other one cool that's it i hope you like it and um, if you do please leave a comment down below on what you want to see next and uh, until next time